Hello all. We're going to have a, I suppose, a slightly unusual topic today. Um, going to do something about Filipino street food. And I thought for this I'm going to bring in a foremost expert, or at least the first one I could grab, who happens to be my daughter, Remy. Say hello, Remy. Hello, Remy. Oh, OK, very good. OK, now Remy was born here in the Philippines. She went to Australia when she was nine and you will have seen a few little stories about her adjustment and we came back here when she was 13 and uh, yes yeah, she has probably consumed far more Filipino street food than I have so therefore she can explain a few things does that sound fairly right I'll try okay what would be the first warning we would give people about Filipino street food well a lot of people know about balut no i would think the first warning would be try not to die try to be aware that things you buy in the street are not necessarily the most hygienic wouldn't you say yeah this is somebody who's an absolute expert on it who uh, no way did she have food poisoning just early this week from being careless about what she was eating that never happened did it no never happened no no never would she's far too smart <laughs> for that so yes please just be careful about uh, what you're eating where you get it from there can be hygiene issues especially if things have been sitting around all day if they were cooked early in the morning and uh, you know, left to uh, with no refrigeration and flies things can be quite disgusting and you can get become quite ill but anyway with that in mind okay Remy what are some of the most exciting and interesting of Filipino street foods well, balut is, um, it is a developing embryo. She was having trouble saying embryo. She put, it's she a developing embryo, duck or chicken, and it's usually about two to three weeks old. And Filipinos love, love balut. Yeah, I, I will confess that uh, I have never eaten balut in my life and my plan is to go to my grave happily one day never having eaten the stuff uh, I've seen it the idea of it just puts me off completely uh, I think it was probably my wife one day saying to me that it wasn't particularly the dead duck inside the wretched thing that she liked but that she liked the soup and to me eggs shouldn't have soup However, Remy, your it's thoughts It's quite are... nice. It doesn't, it doesn't, it tastes like chicken. Yeah, so she said. But I, I suppose a lot of this is mental block. Uh, please don't uh, anybody get offended by anything. I would have never tried <laughs> to eat the duck or the chicken. I don't like it. Yeah. Some of it, some of it has its feathers already. So it's, I don't think you want to eat feathers Yes, my lovely wife consumed one of these hideous things in front of me just the other day. She said, I don't know, this. it's only young, there's no actual duck inside it. But, I mean, the thing inside was sort of yellowish brown and, and, and looked like, oh, I don't know, it just looked like something that had been rotting away or something. And um, I told her no kisses for a week, although I, I must say I did relent. Anyway, so you are you a fan of... I've never seen you eat balut, young lady. Have you... you like the stuff? Yes and no. I mean, there are times that it's okay. I would eat it, but... I don't know, the smell puts me off. I've never got close enough. It does smell, does it? It does smell, yes. Okay, you've really, really put me off. Isn't there something where the, the gentlemen here think that eat balut and you become far more virile or something along those oh lines. yeah you know they have that they think it'll make you stronger if you eat balut y yeah stronger is filipino term for uh, more more virile putting having more lead in your pencil um <laughs> that seems to be the thinking but then that's young men everywhere i suppose so uh, yeah what, what other delightful things do we have well we've got um isal Esau. We had a cat named Esau once. It was named after this delightful thing. So tell the, tell the listeners what Esau is. Chicken intestines. 
Yeah, poo pipe. Sounds lovely. And they fry it on this along the street. You know, um, it's quiet. It's not very hygienic. It's a lot of cars and jeepneys along the road and. Um, yeah, apart from the fact it's poo pipe, and why would poo pipe ever be hygienic? Yeah. And some of them, they don't clean it properly, so it has this sort of tangy taste when you eat it. I never knew that it was like that when I was a kid. I didn't know it was a poo pipe. I didn't know it was... It's where chicken, you know, poop. Well, yes, it's intestines. I mean, it's uh, used for the storage and transport transport out of the body of poo. We all know what intestines are. But the, you, the tangy taste, that is actually... Probably shit. Yes, yes, a bit of <laughs> yes, a bit of leftover defecation. So, uh, yeah, there can't possibly be anything hygienic about that. But anyway, to each their own. Um, I see you've got dinner guan there. That's uh, yes. Yes, explain to the listeners what dinner guan is. It is pork and pig's blood. Pork and pigs are the same thing. <laughs> uh, yes, it's it's it, it's pig's blood. It's uh, um, are you a fan? Uh, not really. Yeah, Mila will eat it, but her particular thing is, if the pig has just been killed, if they're having a party or something like that, well, they you know knock the pig on the head and cut it up, cut its throat and hang it up and they drain the blood. That's they might... why. That's why they sort of have a bucket on the while they're cutting the throat of the pig. I always wondered why they were, you know, they had a bucket under its throat for when they cut its throat. Right. That's why. So this is a learning process for all of us. Yeah, yeah, that's for collecting the blood. And, and um, look, in myself, I look at a lot of things with foods of all sorts uh, what you, it's all what you get used to, what you grew up with. I didn't grow up consuming blood, so uh, I, I can't imagine getting myself to ever actually do it. But, I mean, blood is very high in protein, and uh, we're a bit spoiled in the West. We do tend to throw things away, which we probably shouldn't throw away. It, it actually makes perfect sense to consume it. However, uh, if it's... My wife will eat it when it's when she knows that it just came out of the pig and they cooked it up straight away and she will eat it when it's nice and steaming hot, um, in which case it's going to be perfectly safe. But if you let that sit around all day, then you know, bacteria love blood, so you could make yourself rather ill. But uh, yes, knowing that uh, that was collected in that bucket, do you, are you keen to have some next time or not necessarily? Even when I was a kid, I wasn't really a fan of it. Yeah, yeah, and, and there's a there's a delightful derivative of that which uh, Filipinos love calling things by funny names. This one's known as Betamax for some reason, probably because the shape of it resembles a an old Betamax uh, <laughs> video cassette <laughs> slightly. Uh, what are we talking about there? Chicken's blood. Chicken's blood. Yeah, uh, cooked. Sort of, I don't know, how do they make it into that square shape? You got any idea? I have no idea, but I know they fry it, but it's already, you know, shaped like a square. Yes, it's sort of, it's on a stick and it's sort of, if you didn't know any better, you could be fooled into thinking you're eating a nice bit of chocolate pudding, but it's not. It's chicken blood and the chances are it's probably been on that stick out, out in the uh, elements for a long time. So, yes, have you ever eaten that? I did when I was little. Did you like before it? Before I went to Australia. Did you like it? Uh, yeah, I actually used to love that until I found out. I wasn't very smart when I was little. I didn't know it was chicken's blood. Well, you just, you've been discovering a few things along the way here. Um, how would you describe the taste of it? I can't even imagine. It tastes like chicken. Uh, so you, you'd go, oh, that's a nice chicken you taste. Seriously. I it suppose. tastes like chicken. I suppose that's logical enough. Oh, well, there you go. I, I just would never have it's imagined. It's really soft. Ah, so soft lumps of chicken blood on a stick. So uh, not for the faint-hearted. What other exciting things do we have? Well, we've got soup number five. I mean, 
just with its name, you would never have thought it was Bull's penis. Yeah, 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 actually. But it's like, it is actually like a soup. Yeah, it has. Yeah, it's soup. It's off like Bull's penis. Yes. Am I right in guessing that they probably think this also makes them highly virile? I have no idea. I've never actually tried it, but I've heard people talk about it. So I don't know how, what it tastes like, and I never want to find out what it tastes. I'm good. Uh, no, 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 no. There's a whole lot of things I could I could say, but I'm not saying them to my daughter. Okay, let's move on from uh, bull's penis soup. What other exciting things do we have? Well, we've got, I mean, helmet. They call it helmet, but it's actually, you know, chicken's head. Yes, yes, and then you've got the lovely Adidas. Again, again, uh, Filipinos can be quite amusing about things. Tell tell the viewers, what, tell the listeners, sorry, what Adidas is. Chicken feet. Yes, chicken feet on sticks. Just like helmets are little heads on sticks, deep fried. Are they battered or are they just fried? No, they're not. No. Just, fried just fried feet and fried heads. I, I Many years ago, this wasn't even Filipino, but I had pigs trotters and there were Australians who eat pigs trotters. I had these on the plate and I spent a very long time cutting this up trying to look for something inside these pigs feet that I could eat and I couldn't find anything. What on earth do you eat on a chicken foot? They just suck it mainly. They suck the feet. Um, They suck the feet of the chicken chicken's head i've never seen anyone eat it i just can't when i see one of my friends buy you know a head on a stick a helmet (laughs) i i will look away i i cannot look the the, they make horrible sounds to give you some idea what they're doing i just leave them yeah yeah so you're right okay i think i might go home now (laughs) but they but so that they don't chew the foot they suck the foot they suck the foot do they say, I really like... I mean, do you see the thing at the end? Have you got any idea what... Do they get something off? The yeah, it's sort of the skin, you know. So it's mostly skin, I guess. Yes. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's probably not as silly as I... I mean, I, I've but said even though this is... It looks hideous. Yeah, I've seen them. They don't look good. I mean, it's a foot and you just think this... You've seen chickens walking around and you've seen the walk around in their own poo. So I, I don't know, I just wonder how clean they could possibly get chicken feet before somebody starts sucking on the damn thing. But uh, if, but I said, look, I mean, I would eat a plate full of... If my wife would let me, I'd eat a plate full of chicken skin, so I suppose it's probably it's probably not as bad as it sounds. But uh, yes, uh, yeah, chicken feet, chicken heads. What other exciting things do we have? Do we well, get... Is there anything nice? Provinces, in some provinces, in some provinces... Like Bicol, they do eat toads. They eat toads. Toads. I see. Um, all of the toad, or, the, or like the French, do they eat the legs? I they're on a stick, Dad. So it's toad on a stick. To- toads. Toads on a stick, not just a toad. Two well, toads on a stick. Two you know, toads three on a stick. Little ones. Little you know. ones. I see. And I'm sure, s- I'm sure Sarah has tried it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, she comes from Baa, where they they like to eat rats. So, yes, yeah, so I look at what weird things people can eat out in the provinces. Apparently, you know, bats and various insects and spiders and scorpions and what have you get consumed. I've seen large lizards and snakes being eaten, but. I suppose we're, we're sort of sticking to the, the street food. You, you, so you, this you've is seen, the street food. Uh, yes. This is a, a toad. Toads on a... St- I've never seen that. Street food right. in Beacon. I take it you've never consumed a toad on a stick? No. I don't know what part you'd eat. It just sounds... That's a lot. Oh, horrible thought. Okay, well, you can eat toads on a stick if you wish. Is there anything nice, anything pleasant? Because this is all, all sounds a little freaky to me. Well, there is taho. It is tofu. It is made out of tofu and an arnival syrup and sago. So we call it sago. Sago, I thought. I'll let you know that Remy spent four and a half years in Australia and 
she picked up a, a very thick Aussie accent in a very short time, came back here, and when she speaks in Tagalog, she has this terrible fake Tagalog accent. So uh, she, she, the poor thing struggles. So uh, yeah, I'll try yes. my best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm a bit of a bit of a fan of Taho. Actually, we used to. Uh, order that all the time we'd hear the little man going past with his tin and going taho taho it's and, quite uh, delicious it, it is absolutely de- delicious the only thing is you eh well i don't know i suppose i've probably lost a little confidence over seeing people get sick from things and we've seen you know plastic cups getting reused you know washed out at the nearest tap and reused again um there's a lot of hepatitis and things getting around here. Ah, uh, yes, I guess. No, you're Taho man if you can do such a thing. Uh, yeah, I'm a. But uh, yes, I will say I'm a fan of Taho. Uh, what else do we have? We've got green mangoes with bagoong. A yeah. lot of Filipinos like that too. They do. To me, I'm a, I'm a Queensland boy, and I love a Queensland mango. More than anything, the idea of eating... I, I just don't get green mangoes full stop. They taste like sort of poor quality Granny Smith apples to me uh, compared to a, you know, a nice luscious Bowen mango. They're uh, um, a little odd. So, yeah, we, we, we have a mixture of people here in our household. Some like them green, some like them ripe. I think most would prefer them green, would you say? Yeah, most, most Filipinos would prefer them green. Yeah, which... They also have it with salt. Yes, 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 dipped in salt. Yes, I can remember stopping a little girl from dipping her mango in a handful of salt because yes, a little less salt doesn't hurt. Um, yeah, I, I could probably handle the green mango and mango on. I remember when I couldn't... First, read, when I first read the label on this years ago, before I um, really asked a, a Filipino, I saw B A G double O N G. I went, "Oh, bagong!" <laughs> Not realizing it's bagong. Um, yeah, I quite like it cooked with cooked with pork. <laughs> Be quite delicious. But uh, I don't know. I can't get my head around mixing fruit and um, fermented shrimp paste. It just doesn't quite gel as far as I'm concerned, but uh, uh, that's just me. I don't think there's anything particularly unhygienic about it, but, yeah, that's a that's a bit of a hit. Yeah. Uh, and what else do we have? We've also got, you know, banana cues, kamori cues, and turon. Banana cue is, well, bananas, and turon is also bananas wrapped in not quite sure oh that's like wrapped in like a spring roll yeah. rice uh, uh pastry type of th- oh yeah 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 that's that's, that's good stuff yeah any, any of the banana cues they're quite a treat and you know they're normally fairly safe because they're bananas for goodness sakes you know there's not you know meat or anything that can go rotten but uh oh you seem to get i mean some of them are battered some of them are you know heavily sugared Usually on the, usually on a stick. Yeah, usually heavily sugared. Yeah, stick. yeah, and these are those varieties of bananas that, I mean, I wouldn't try this with a Queensland Cavendish. I think if you fried it, it would tend to fall apart. Um, but there were bananas here, which really they are for cooking, and that's what they're used for. Um, sabah, sabah. Did I pronounce that right? I don't know what sabah is, Dad. Sabah, the type of banana. Oh, there you go. Okay, here's me educating Remy and Filipino things. Saba is a cooking variety of banana, which is uh, what you will have been eating your whole life, just not asking questions. Anyway. Um, I probably did ask, and they just said banana. They probably did. They probably said, probably said, go away, child, or something. But, uh, yeah, that's the, yeah, they're, they're cooking bananas. You, 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 uh, again, I wouldn't try. Don't try this one at home back in Queensland, folks. It... Uh, won't work, but uh, turon is that what they call it? Yeah, yeah, on. yeah, and and that's yeah, that's it's wrapped in spring roll paper and um, sorry pastry. Uh, yeah, quite quite delicious. Any of the banana type things. And, uh, is sweet potato. Yeah, I don't think I've had that. Is it nice? It's delicious. 
I love it. I love it. I like Komori Q more than I like Doron or Banana Q. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Maybe somewhere along the way I will try such a thing. So, uh, oh, I think that's probably covered a fair old bit oh, there. Oh, we've got another one. Oh. Actually, the most famous one is Quack Quack. Yes, I don't mind Quack Quack, I have to say. And uh, it's probably a reasonably safe thing to eat, I would think. Yeah, and it's, it is it is nice. It's just egg and... Oh, quail eggs and chicken eggs. Yeah, one or the other. The little ones are quail eggs, bigger ones are chicken eggs, and uh, the batter on them and fried. And with a, I give you a cup full of really yummy sort of spicy sweet sort of sauce. What on earth is that sauce? And you can also have it with vinegar. Oh, oh, well, there vinegar you go. Vinegar and that you know spicy sauce. Actually, I haven't had quick quick for ages. Used to be a funny looking chap a sort of muscular fellow with um, tattoos uh, wearing a dress who, who used to we used to um used to get quick quick from him her um but yeah it's certainly available anywhere down at the markets anywhere. yeah bit of a treat i don't mind don't mind quick quick but uh yeah i guess that's probably lots of food for thought i would think yep so uh enjoy and uh you know, limit, know your limitations and uh, just be careful about hygiene. But otherwise, uh, uh, yes, enjoy yourself and um, eat what you feel like eating and run like hell from things you uh, you don't feel like eating. Okay, thank you very much, Remy, for this little chat. It's been fun. Okay, thank you. Bye.